Greenland, the world's largest island nation, a beautiful but harsh Arctic region. Most of the country is covered by a massive ice sheet thought to be from the last ice age. Greenland is considered ground zero for climate change. Before a change is felt in weather patterns and temperatures in any other part of the world, it's first felt right here. That the climate is changing is most evident here. A country that has little human activity with a population of just 50,000 odd people and no industrialization. NDTV's Greenathon team was the first Indian TV crew to film in Greenland. As we set out to discover just how is the climate changing and what does this mean for India. Looking around me, you wouldn't imagine it, but temperatures in Greenland are the highest they've been in the last 2,000 years and rising at a rate that is much faster than anywhere else in the world. In fact, many of the Greenlanders we've spoken to have said they felt a significant difference in just the last couple of years. Well, we can feel it. I mean, last year uh, we have rain at Christmas time. I mean, that was, that was something. Uh, and, and the whole spring, we didn't have snow. So th this year, we have snow here in May, May and that's something that's difficult, different too. I mean, that is not normal, uh, so we can feel it. The increased temperatures have had a devastating impact on the original Greenlanders, the Inuits, whose traditional occupation is to hunt and fish. They can no longer now travel onto the sea ice as it no longer freezes like it used to. Putsi Olsen is a resident of Kangarlusuak, a small town centered around an airport. Her husband, Amasa, is a hunter. Over the last couple of years, the Olsens have found it more difficult to manage and have had to adapt to the warmer temperatures. The weather has changed in winter time. Uh, one winter we have three times where the snow were gone this Christmas. All the snow were gone. First it came and then it came back at first and then it came. And while we can feel it, it's during the hunting time for winter hunting. Where they used to hunt with, with the dog sledding. There are still some hunters who are doing some dog sledding by hunting. But hmm. my have, husband has now moved with using a snow scooter or four-wheeler, ATV. Yeah. But it's still hard uh, in winter time when there's no snow when you go around because you can see how the nature is. And then we can feel in the summer, it's quite warm. Uh, last year, I wanted to move my dog because it's too warm for them. They are like wolf. Yeah. Uh, they have extra hair inside. But even this winter, we have some snow and they got some ice on the fjord, some of it. My husband and another woman, her name is Johanna Beck. She lives in Sisimut, but she come in here and hunt too. And they went through the ice actually and were out swimming. There's like 200 meters. They have uh, two four wheelers. I think there was 14 or 16 muskox. And they got too close to the, to the, to the coast. Because when the ice is thick, you have to stay in the middle. Right. And they went too, too close to the, to the coast of the mountain and they went through the ice and they lost uh, all of it. <laughs> the Greenlandic dogs, once a lifeline of the Inuits, have become victims of climate change. Putsi and her husband own 15 dogs and are finding it difficult to support them. Putsi tells us many poorer hunters have either shot their dogs or let them go. It's very expensive to, to have dogs. We used to have 25 dogs, now we have uh, 15. We have 15 of them, and maybe we, we have to go down to 10. We have to change the way if we want to keep those kind of dogs, because they are a special dog. The impact of climate change can be seen on the Greenland ice cap. Now earlier it used to be that the snow of the glacier used to tower over the moraine which lies at the edge of the glaciers. But as you can see behind me, that's no longer the case. Over the last decade or so, the moraine is much higher than the snow and that's because the melting is taking place at a faster rate than the snow formation is. About 
Kim Peterson, who works for a tourism agency and has been in Greenland for several years, says as the ice melts faster, more and more rain gets pushed out into the sea, which impacts sea life. We can see here on the inner ice, especially in the edge of it, a lot of the ice is disappearing. And uh, there will be washed a lot more sediments out in the fjords and the, the sea around Greenland. And that is not good for the fishing and so on. And also, uh, the sea ice is not freezing anymore. So what sort of changes uh, has uh, climate change, uh, what sort of changes has it brought about for the people here in Greenland? A lot of the hunting is disappearing. The seals uh, and, uh, of course, also the polar bears and so on. And uh, that means also you can't drive uh, anymore by, on the uh, open sea uh, by dog sleds. And you need to use a boat. In the old time, you uh, was living about what you could get from the ice. And you can't get it anymore. More moraine gets pushed out into the sea, which impacts aquatic life. If Greenland's ice cap were to melt at a much faster rate in the years to come, it would mean a rise in sea levels. Already off the coast of North Greenland, icebergs are breaking off much faster than they used to. Do you have the NDTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndyTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.